Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number five from the February March 2020 Mechanics um, Paper 4 Variant 2 from the 9709 Cambridge syllabus. And this question here is about these forces acting on the particle P or acting on the point P. So coplanar forces means they're all on the same, they're all on the same plane. Okay, they're like, you know, they're two dimensional, you can say, not in three dimensions. Um, <clears throat> of magnitudes F, Newtons, three Newtons, six Newtons, and four Newtons act at a point P as shown on the diagram or in the diagram. Given that alpha equals 60, so in this, this first question, I'm going to make the diagram here. So in the first question, this is 60 degrees. That's 60. And the resultant of the four forces is, is in the direction of the three Newton's force. So the resultant force is in this direction here. So let me draw that in a slightly different color. So the resultant force is in this direction here. Okay. Um, find F. All right, so we want to find what F is. Now, the resultant force is in this, in this direction, okay? Um, and what we can do here is we can resolve the forces. We want to find what F is. We want to resolve the forces. Let's resolve them vertically, okay? If we resolve the forces vertically, you have the force... One second, let me change this color. You have this F Newtons. It's going to have a component vertically and a component horizontally, okay? Vertically, its component is going to be F times, we're going away from the angle, going away from the angle, sine 60, okay? Now, if you're not sure what I did there, okay, there are there is a video in this playlist that will show at the end for this paper, okay? Um, one of the questions I answered, I think it's question number, let me just make sure. It's question number two, where I've explained exactly how to resolve forces, you know, in the direction of an angle, away from an angle, horizontally, vertically, and so on. So if you go back to that video, to question number two, you'll see in that video, I go through it in some detail. So if you're not sure how I did that, why is this F sine 60? You'll understand it when you see that video. And I also have to resolve the forces, four Newton force, horizontally and vertically. Now, vertically, this force is going to have um, the value four times away from the angle again. The angle is given here, so we're going to resolve away from the angle four times the sine of 30. Okay, this side it will be four cosine 30, and that would be F sine 30, but we don't need to worry about that because, okay, we have to find what F is, and what we got here is enough for it. If I just resolve vertically, we know that the resultant force is horizontal. Okay, so you know, the, these have no component in the horizontal direction. So you have F sine 60 plus 4 sine 30 is equal to 6. The upward forces and the downward forces must be balanced out, okay, because the resultant force is horizontal, not vertical. So vertically, they're balanced out, you can say, all right? So that means that F sine 60, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, so that's going to be the square root of 3 over 2 times F. And sine 30 is a half, so it's 4 times a half, which is 2, equals 6. I can multiply both sides by 2, or I could just say root 3 over 2 F equals 6 minus 2, which is 4. So F is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8, over root 3. Okay, so if I want to express my answer in exact form, I will say... Uh, rationalize the denominator, multiply both sides, uh, both top and bottom by root 3, you'll end up with 8 times root 3 over 3 newtons. You can leave your answer like this. Um, if it said exact, find the exact value, then you would have to leave your answer like this. Um, if it doesn't say, say exact value, then it's probably safer to write it as a decimal. So we can just, you know, do 8. I can do it from here, 8 over root 3, just to make sure that we did everything right with the rationalizing. That's 8 root 3 over 3. And just press SD, and that's 4.6188. 4 4.6188 4 newtons. 
So F is equal to 4.62 newtons to 3 SF. And there's the answer to part A. Okay. We could have also done this by, uh, you know, resolving them horizontally. But we don't know what the actual uh, resultant force is. So we can make an equation. F cosine 60 minus 4 sine 30 equals FR. And we don't know what the resultant force is exactly. They didn't tell us. So we can't really use that to, uh, you know, find what F is. So we can use this because the, because the resultant force is horizontal. There's no component of the resultant force in the vertical direction. So the upward force is F cosine 60 plus 4 cosine, sorry, F sine 60 plus 4 sine 30. F sine 60 plus 4 sine 30 is equal to 6. And the only unknown is F. So there's part A finished. Now we're going to go on to part B. Now part B says, given instead that the force, four forces are in equilibrium. That means all the, there's no resultant force. Resultant force is equal to zero. Okay, find the values of F and, and alpha. So this time, we're not taking alpha as 60. We just take, we have to find alpha. So here we're in equilibrium. That means the forces horizontally and vertically are balanced out. So if we think about these forces now, um, and I'll draw them again just to make it clear. Okay, so I'm going to have this force resolved vertically and this force also resolved vertically. I'm going to have this force resolved horizontally and this force also resolved horizontally. Okay, so as I mentioned before, if you are going in the direction of the angle, if we resolve the force in the direction of the angle, you can think of it like this. If you have to go into the angle to resolve the force, you're going to use cosine. So here I want to resolve this horizontally. I have to go into the angle given. So I'm going to use cosine. So this will be 4 cosine of 30. And for the force F as well, the same thing. Or I'm going away from the angle. Okay, if I, if, I, if I want to resolve this force, going in that direction, I have to go away from the angle given. The 30 is there. I have to go away from it. In that case, I have to use sine. So this is going to be 4 times... Where's my pen gone? 4 times sine of 30. And in this case, I want to resolve this F, the force F newtons, going um, horizontally. I have to go into the angle given. So I'm going to use cosine if I'm going into the angle, because it's like you're looking at the adjacent side. So F cosine alpha. And if I want to go away from the angle given, okay, which is what I'm going to do here, going away from the angle given, I'm going to use sine. So this will be F times sine of alpha. F sine alpha. Okay, so now um, we can resolve the forces vertically and horizontally. So horizontally, let's look at horizontally. We got um, on to the right, we say F cosine alpha plus 3. 3 is horizontal as it is. Must equal 4 cosine 30. Why? Because it's an equilibrium. All the forces balance out. Okay, so the forces on this direction and that direction will balance each other out. And if we look at the vertical components of the forces, upwards we have F sine alpha plus 4 sine 30 is equal to, down is only 6 newtons, 6. Okay, so we have these two equations. Now, when you have an equation involving sine and cosine like, like this, we can do a little trick here using our identity that we know, which is tan alpha equals sine alpha over cosine alpha. So that will help us to solve this problem, this identity. Make it, make it a lot easier for us than other ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sine alpha the subject of this. So I have F sine alpha is equal to 6 minus 4 sine of 30. So F sine of alpha is equal to, now sine of 30 is a half, so 6 minus... 4 times a half, which is going to be 2. So we know F sine of alpha is 6 minus 2, which is 4. So that's one equation. F sine of alpha equals 4. And then if we take the other equation, um, we have F cosine of alpha is equal to 4 cosine of 30 minus 3. So F cosine of alpha is equal to cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. So 4 root 3 over 2 minus 3 which gives you 2 root 3 minus 3. So we have F cosine of alpha is equal to 2 root 3 minus 3. So we have equation 1, equation 2. 
If I take equation one and divide it by equation two, I'll have F sine alpha over F cosine alpha equals four over two root three minus three. Now the F's will cancel out and I'm left with sine alpha over cosine alpha, which is the tangent of alpha equals four over two root three minus three. So we can find alpha. We can find alpha by finding the inverse tan of this ratio, four over two root three minus three. And that will give us the value for alpha, which we're gonna find in degrees. So we're gonna do inverse tan in degrees. We've got degrees good. We're gonna have four divided by two root three minus three. I like to keep things exact until the last minute. I don't like to use decimals in between. Just make everything more accurate. That gives you 83.381. So 83.381. So alpha to one decimal place, angles and degrees should be measured 83.4 degrees. So that's alpha done. Now we got to find the value of um, F. Okay, so we can find F now by using one of these two equations that we formed. So for example, use the first equation. We can say F sine of alpha is equal to four. So F is equal to four over the sine of 83.381 use the more exact form so i'm just going to use what's in my calculator actually so f is going to be so i'll do four over the sine of my last answer which was the angle okay and that gives me 4.0268 4.0268 well, so f is equal to 4.03 newtons so there we have f and there we have alpha and we have answered this question Okay, so that's a little trick here that's going to be very useful for you. There's other ways from here to continue, but this is by far the easiest way. If you have one in terms of sine alpha, the other ones in terms of cosine alpha, you have two unknowns. You divide them, you end up with getting rid of the F that way, straight away, and also having just, you know, tan alpha, and then you can solve it. Very, very, it makes it very, very easy. Okay, um, that's the end of this question. Question number was it five five part b so this question now um if you would like to find other questions from this paper go to the playlist the link will appear here at the end of the video if you'd like to go um, and see other questions dealing with um i guess this is to do with uh, resolving forces okay so i'll put this under i guess um you know Resolving force, I don't know, I can't remember which category it is, but I'll put it in, the, in a playlist here. We'll have similar questions, okay? And you'll, I'll also put a playlist from my Edexcel collection, which is similar to this. I guess part of it is statics, like the first part is statics, okay? Um, the second part is statics. So I'll put one for statics and uh, one for dynamics, and I'll also put the statics for my Edexcel collection. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.